Hey guys, today we're going to be seeing how much of a different Youth Scout ratings actually have on the players they produce. I'm going to simulate 100 players for each level of Scout and then we'll average out the results and see if there is actually a noticeable difference between 5 star and the 1 star Scout. So I'm going to be using 5 star 5 star and a 1 star 1 star, logging the results and then showing you what happens with each rating so that you can see if there's actually worth upgrading your Scouts. So now we've got our 3 5 star Scouts. We will send them out all in the same region to make sure that that's fair. We'll send each of them to their own home country if possible. Um, so hopefully, yeah, Austria is in the same region and Czech isn't. So I'm gonna replace this guy quickly and boom, they are all going to their home countries and they're all the same rating. So this should give us a reasonably fair um, idea of what kind of players a five star, five star scout can actually find. So we're going to quickly simulate until the end of July and then I will go over to August the first 20 times logging the results. Uh, this will give me 60 5 star 5 star scout reports. So from there we should get a pretty good idea of the sort of ranges you can get from a 5 star 5 star scout. Okay, so now it's ready to start going over into August and see what we get. So I will do this 20 times and then I will cut back and let you know how we're getting on. Okay, so that's all done now and all the results are in a Google Drive sheet which I will link in the description in case you want to have a look at it. So, what have we found out from the 5 star 5 star scouts? The average overall rating of a player scouted by a 5 star 5 star scout is around 52 or 51.75 if you want to be a bit more specific and the average potential that we found was 72.27. So, of course, you're using a 5-star scout in the top leagues mainly, big clubs. 72 potential isn't great, so you're not going to be finding first-team players every single scout report. But there's a couple of standout players that we found. So, we found a couple whose potential will probably be around mid to high 80s. So, from our 100, we found 2, 4, 5 players who have potential over 85. This is pretty good, of course. This is a sort of Jaden Sancho level at the minute. But more importantly, we found two players who had an overall of potentially over 65. So I've worked this out just by adding up the lower and upper bounds of his rating on the scout report and dividing it by two. So chances are it's probably lower than this. But in FIFA 21 itself, there are several 17 year olds who already have over 70 rating. There is Reina, Wurtz, Pedri, Hloshek, Fati and Kamavinga, the latter of which has 78 overall at 17. So although these are pretty good players that you're scouting, they are not. So while these numbers do seem high for someone who's 17, it's not impossible for a naturally spawned player to have this kind of potential. I know Ch uh, Rayan Cherky and Karabek from Sparta Prague, they both are 16 and they have high 60s ability already. So 100 scout reports is the same as 6 months of scout reports all at once. So this means you'll get a Rayan Cherky coming through your academy twice a year, which of course is pretty incredible if that happened in real life. There are some teams that maybe are doing this. So, you know, it's not too unrealistic this year. Teams like Ajax have been doing this over the last few years themselves, so that's uh, it's pretty, pretty good this year, FIFA. So, now we're going to have a look and see what 1 star 1 star scouts actually do. See if there is a big difference in quality, or if it's just the amount of players they find is different. I have a feeling it won't be a huge difference because the ability rating of 52 itself isn't too high, so I think that's an achievable goal. But the potential of 72, I think, 1 star 1 star scout won't be able to consistently make. I think that will be around maybe 65-ish. But uh, let's have a look. Okay, so that's another simulation done of 100 players. And this time with the 1 star 1 star scouts. So, 101 players with an average overall of 50.2 and an average potential of 70.3. So this is only 2 points of potential lower than the average players from the 5 star 5 star scout which is pretty mad when you think about it because they're so much more expensive it's about £25,000 for a 1 star 1 star scout 
or I think it's five million for a five star, five star. So for that price, all you're getting is two extra overall on average, and two extra potential. So going through the players we got for the one star, one star, only one of them I think would be usable for a top division team. He was a 60 to 74 overall with 70 to 74 potential, which averages at 67 overall and 82 potential. I think the highest rated potentials we got, we got a couple that were 85 or 86-ish, which again, that is pretty good to say it's a one star, one star scout. These are the kind of people you'd be using in League 1 or League 2. Um, but when you think about it, you only get one or two players from each scouting report. So even though the potentials can be high, you're looking at one player of 86 potential over maybe two or three seasons rather than every six months with the five star, five star scout. So from the look of it, it looks like the only advantage of getting the upgraded scouts is the sheer amount of players you get in each report. The ability to find high potential players seems fairly similar, at least on average, maybe the 5 star 5 star finds players with a higher peak. So it seems like the 5 star scouts have the better standard deviation, they have a higher max range but also a maybe lower minimum range as well, whereas the 1 star 1 star scout will just find players who are sort of 60, 70, 80 potential, it won't find that 90 potential player. So overall, it's worth signing the 5 star, 5 star scouts, but only if you have the spare money. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy them if I had a maybe 3 star or 4 star already, because I don't think the difference would be too big. I imagine it would be around 0.2 average potential per player. But if you want me to do this again with 3 star, 4 star, maybe 2 star scouts, uh, let me know and I will do the exact same thing but for those compare all the ratings but I hope you found these results quite interesting I know I did I'll definitely not underestimate my one star one star scouts again if you've got any suggestions for other FIFA experiments that I could try maybe ones related to player development let me know and I will give them a go and see what results we can find out but if you like this video please uh, drop a like and maybe consider subscribing. I'll be doing more FIFA experiments and more FIFA guides, league guides in the future. But for now, thank you for watching and goodbye.